The Perfect Meatloaf Pan Set is one of those as seen on TV products that has literally been flying off the shelves and out of our stores and our warehouses, just going crazy with this thing. They took basically your, your standard meatloaf pan and added a removable area to tray. It elevates the meatloaf so you can cook it better. It drains the fat, helps it cook evenly, promises to never fall apart. We'll see about that. You basically bake it, you lift it right out, super easy. And you serve, actually the lift out part is something I'm really excited about because I know meatloaf sticks and it breaks out. I don't like that. Um, there's some other things you can do with it as well, but uh, we're, uh, we're pretty excited to give this a shot. I went ahead and made my own meatloaf for the evening, and uh, like I said, solid construction. Um, here's to dinner. We're going to see if this thing really works, so we'll check back in about an hour. Okay, so the uh, meatloaf just came out of the oven. Still piping hot. And uh, here goes. Moment of truth, right? See if I can make sure. Okay, here we go. Alrighty, here we go. Lifting all of that out and uh, slide this on. Slide it on. Slide, slide, slide. Alright, well, it's not pretty, but check this out. Check out all the grease that would have been in my meatloaf. All that would have been in the meatloaf. You know, in, in our defense, I did ask my wife to pick up 80-20 meat, so it was especially greasy, uh, just to put this to the test. And uh, who boy, did it ever have a test here. It looks really, um, well, deformed a little bit, but that's to be expected with the sliminess of the meat. And uh, cutting it in half. All right, well, it cooked it perfectly, and uh, so there you go. There's the perfect meatloaf pan, my first try here. And I'm David with Television Frenzies. I'm going to give the perfect meatloaf pan set a four and a half out of five stars. It seemed to work pretty well. There's a ton of grease that didn't get in the meatloaf that I don't have to eat. I did use 80-20 meat. I'll probably use like a, I don't know, 90-10 next time just to see if it's as much grease, probably not, but I'm glad to know that all that grease is not in this meatloaf when I eat it, so that makes me happy. So, um, you're going to probably want to add this to your cooking arsenal as well, and thanks for checking this review out, over and out.